you were listening yesterday, you know we were talking about um, people that you'd seen before they were famous. And I had an email from a young lad called Cal Halbert, who um, lives in Shrewsbury, who said he'd like to be one of those people that people say that about him because uh, he's going to be on Britain's Got Talent this Saturday night as a comedy impressionist. So I said, come on, Cal, come on in. Let's hear some of those comedy impressions. And here he is right now. Afternoon. Afternoon. Are you well? Is that you? You're it, dis- is, it is me, yes. This is, this is my real voice, I promise. Okay, you're looking very smart, by the way. Uh, well, so thank you didn't you dress up especially f- to come in, did you? Um, yes. Yes, I will say yes. No, I'm joking. I'm, I've got a gig later. I'm going, I'm going to Dudley. I'm in Dudley, so I'm locally. I'm local. That's where, good. Whereabouts in Dudley are you tonight? It is the King William in Dudley. It's a, it's a pub in Dudley. I don't know where it is. I will find it when, when I get there. And you're at your home place in Shrewsbury as well, so... It is, yes. I am in Shrewsbury on Sunday at the Monkmore pub, which so is by the police amongst station. all this hype of national television and doing Britain's Got Talent, you still go out and perform as well? Of course I do. It's my job. Have you got to be really careful what you can and can't say to me? Because obviously this, the, the programme that you're on hasn't gone out yet. I do, yes. I need to be really careful. But there's lots of other stuff I can do for you, so... All right, it's well, going to be fun. Right, okay, so you're, you're well, 17, 18. Yep. Um, how did you get into this? Because you're a very young guy, but I've been watching some of your bits on YouTube all afternoon, and I'm amazed how confident you are for a guy of your age, without being patronising. So <laughs> how did you get into this? What, what, sta- what started you out in comedy? I started doing loads of stupid voices. I used to start doing, like, the cartoon characters on, on TV shows, like, I don't know, like, uh, Homer Simpson, who was a lot like, Yeah, Marge, yeah, donuts, that, that sort of thing. Um, and then you'd move on to stupid things that you'd see on television, I don't know, like, I don't know, let's think, um, you'd, then I started moving on to proper people. My first proper person impression was Tony Blair, so Prime Minister Tony Blair was a lot like this, quite scatty when he wants to be. But that's that's quite a thing, though, for a young person to to pick up on people like Tony Blair to decide to to do impressions of them. Who who did you look, grow up like watching that did this kind of stuff, or, or was a member of your family involved in comedy in somewhere along the line? No, it was just watching stand up comedy. I watched it once. I can't even remember who it was. It was just well, I want to do that. I want to stand on a stage and be stupid and, and get paid for it. So, and I get to wear a suit. I liked wearing a suit as a child. I think I think that was a good catalyst in the in, in the comedy area. So when was the first time that you decided to make a leap into actually having a go at being comp- co- uh, funny? Uh, it was in school was the first time, but I failed. Epically. Really <laughs> badly. Well, nobody really laughed, or they, well, they just laughed at you, they, not with you. They laughed you. at me rather than with me, okay. and then um, I stopped. I was only 13 at the time, when I completely stopped, and I started again in December. I did my first proper amateur night gig in, in oh, where was it, Warrington for a guy called Bobby Murdoch and it, uh, I came second place so I thought oh I must be good at this so I, I carried on Can you talk about anything to do with your Britain's Got Talent experience? Yes um, I went to Britain's Got Talent That's all you can say? <laughs> no <laughs> I can say more um, I went to I auditioned in Birmingham uh, at the Alexandra Theatre in front of 2,000 people Right no um, there was 2,000 people in the crowd but how many people were queuing up outside how long did it take you in that queue to get through? Because oh. you don't see the judges straight away, do you? You don't, know. You go to... Well, I did. I went to the the, um, the NIA first, and we do it in front of producers, and the producers then choose whether you go in front of the judges, and the judges will then say whether you go through to boot camp, and then they'll decide again if you go to the live shows. So I went through uh, the, the producers stage and then went to... Went to the Ex- Alexandra Theatre. Now, how many judges? people, to start with, were you in front of, producer-wise? Because there's a big difference if you've got a lot of people laughing at mm. you compared to just sort of several yeah there was there was only two people in the room that's it was difficult quite, it was though, quite to a panic yes particularly for a comedian it was quite hard especially if you haven't got their sense of humor and they're just looking at you thinking what is this guy doing right now it just so happens that we have chris tarrant here today isn't that right chris oh it's now time for who wants to be a millionaire and our contestant jimmy carr is currently on 400 pounds He's used two lifelines and about to use his third lifeline as phone a friend. Uh, so, Jimmy, who's it going to be? No. No. What I don't understand is why, on TV shows, like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, people don't choose Google as their partner. Just a thought. That's absolutely brilliant. I love, I, I've, I'll be honest with you, I like Jimmy Carr, but I love a Chris Ta- Tarrant impersonation. I can't you get enough of it. Chris Tarrant. Yeah, can you do A, B, C and D? Because I love it when they go through and do that. Okay, um... A! 
love it. <laughs> I haven't even asked a question. No, I know, but... Okay, okay, here if, we go. If I was actually on that programme, I couldn't sit still if Chris Tarrant was actually talking... Hey. Okay. Come on. Oh, welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And the question is, what letter starts Beacon Radio? A. A. <laughs> B. B. C. C. Or D. D. I'm going to say B, Chris. Is that your final answer? It is. <sighs> you sure? Yeah. Great answer's B. Congratulations. Top man. That was good. Lovely stuff, that was. Yeah, that was really cool.